India and the United States have embarked on a major partnership to enhance global semiconductor supply chain. The new pact is a significant boost to India's ambitions of becoming a key player in the semiconductor industry. With ongoing tensions between India and China along the line of actual control in Ladakh, this collaboration is expected to help India close the tech gap with China and reduce its reliance on tech imports from China. India is a relatively new entrant in the semiconductor game but has ambitions of becoming a semiconductor superpower. Taiwan, on the other hand, is a tech powerhouse. Its largest company, the TSMC, accounts for 50% of the global market on its own, catering to tech titans including Apple, Nvidia and AMD. South Korea is another semiconductor leader with Samsung making its own chips for its products as well as exports. Japan is also home to 100 plus semiconductor fabrication plants and has plans to further expand its footprint. The United States accounts for 21% of the global chip making capacity, however, US based companies still hold nearly 43% of the global semiconductor market share. China is the world's largest semiconductor market and is aiming to become self-reliant in this sector. China currently manufactures 9% of global chips but has an aim to boost it to 25% by 2030. Meanwhile, India imports nearly 95% of its semiconductor needs from these five leading nations. If New Delhi aims to compete with these tech giants, then it will need to forge global scale partnerships. During Prime Minister Modi's visit to Singapore, India took a step in this direction by signing an MOU with the island nation on semiconductor partnership. But this new pact with the United States could be a real game changer for India's semiconductor ambitions going further. US Department of State revealed, quote, the United States and India are key partners in ensuring global semiconductor supply chain keeps pace with the global digital transformation currently underway. This collaboration between the United States and India underscores the potential to expand India's semiconductor industry to the benefit of both nations, unquote. The US DOS added that this partnership with India's semiconductor mission is part of the International Technology Security and Innovation or ITSI Fund created by the CHIPS Act of 2022. The collaboration has three aims to diversify and grow the global semiconductor ecosystem by promoting innovation, strengthening supply chain resilience and ensuring sustainability despite geopolitical tensions. Semiconductors power everything in our 21st century, from smartphones to advanced defense systems. Recent disruptions in global supply chain caused by the pandemic that emerged from Wuhan in China and crippled the world has raised geopolitical tensions and exposed vulnerabilities in the semiconductor market. A shortage of chips has impacted industries worldwide, highlighting the need for a secure and diversified supply chain. This India-US partnership addresses those challenges by creating a resilient, secure and sustainable semiconductor value chain. The first step includes a comprehensive assessment of India's current semiconductor ecosystem including regulatory frameworks, workflow capabilities, and infrastructure. Akash Tripathi, CEO of India Semiconductor Mission, elaborated, quote, To extend our partnership with the US, we are announcing that we will be engaging in conducting a study with them to assess the ITSI fund. The US needs to study the entire ecosystem to understand the gaps and needs of the semiconductor industry in India. We are happy to partner with them in facilitating this study." Unquote. Key stakeholders, including state governments, research centers and private companies will participate in this assessment. J. Robert Garbrick, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, highlighted, quote, Insights gained from this review will serve as the foundation for potential joint initiatives to strengthen this critical sector. Unquote. The collaboration will also unlock investment opportunities, the ITSI fund, backed by $500 million over five years, will support joint research and development or R&D. This partnership is part of a broader U.S.-India initiative on critical and emerging technology or ISET. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell elaborated on partnership with India, saying, quote, Expanding our partnership with India is one of the most strategically important efforts we have taken in the Biden-Harris administration. Successive administrations in Washington and New Delhi have invested time and political capital to bring this partnership to greater and greater heights." Unquote. He also highlighted the US government's unprecedented authorization of technology transfer to India in defense ecosystem, including co-production arrangements for the GE-414 engines in India for the Indian Air Force's LCA Tejas MK-2 fighter jets. 
Both countries are finalizing a supply chain resilience agreement to safeguard the semiconductor industry from future disruptions as witnessed in the defense sector. IndusX will also provide $1.2 million in seed funding for joint research projects between US and Indian companies, driving innovation in semiconductors and defense technologies. As India and US face common geopolitical rival in China, New Delhi and Washington are collaborating across all spheres to be ready to contain the Chinese expansionist ambitions. India is on its way to becoming the third largest global economy with one of the world's largest standing armies. But for India to become a true 21st century superpower, Bharat needs to become Atmanirbhar in all key sectors, from defense to tech and from agriculture to manufacturing. The big question remains, after the delays faced in the defense equipment supplies including fighter jet engines and Reaper drones, will America prove to be a reliable partner in the semiconductor ecosystem? Leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.